today's dinner charlie bingham again he is fantastic he does some great meals cook a man with mashed potato <laughs> right look at that that looks lovely doesn't it sorry about the lighting it's not very good so i think we're gonna share that i'm not sure and i'm gonna put some sausage rolls in the oven as well crisp them up you know and actually, I'm going to stick these uh, sausages on as well. Uh, pork sausages with cheddar and mustard and ale. Very nice. Let's get them on the go. Just getting our midnight munchies ready, okay? So we like different things. All right, forget that. But Dan bought these today, actually. Wicked. Uh, oh, show how much they cost. They were on sale, weren't they? 32 pence. Yep, reduced. From one pound twenty-eight. Do you want to try them? Yeah. I don't know really what they are. <laughs> don't like them. <laughs> you want him for a two p back? Let me try. Mm. Do you want to show them properly? I can't. Oh. Mm. Oh, what are they? Mm. This is the second time <laughs> I've bought something weird in this week and they're being disgusting. Do you know what? I wouldn't say they're disgusting. They grow on you. Well, I keep eating them. <laughs> but they're not my kind of... Yeah, they will get yeah, eaten. they will get eaten. Not my cup of tea. No wonder they're cheap, though. They're not brilliant, are they? I love cashew nuts. Mm. And I love sesame seeds. Wow. Now, let's talk about this brand. Isn't that wicked, that them crackers? No. No? What brand was that? Oh, the crackers, I don't know. Yeah, it weren't Fire Pit. Was that the crackers you had, wicked? I don't know. I had some crackers and they were disgusting. Yeah. Right. Spent a lot of money on them as well and they were disgusting. Yeah. Unfortunately, they had to go into the bin, didn't they? <laughs> uh, I've just got a new dog. Have you? Yeah. What's her name? Don't know. It's brown. Yes. It's brown. It's a mixture between about six different kinds of dogs. It came from Romania. Uh, just laid on its belly, stroked it, had a really good time. Mm. Owner came out, talked to him for a bit. Dog went away, so I walked away. Oh, okay. Not wrong with owner. He's a nice bloke. Oh, he's lovely. But he I only went over for a dog. He knew us, didn't he? Right, babe, dinner's on. Good morning Good and welcome. Good morning. Let me put my sunnies to on. To a sorry. priory. We're at a priory. Clare Priory. We're at Clare Priory. It's in Suffolk. Beautiful. Yep, Suffolk. We're actually on a rally here. Yeah, just it's like one full day, two nights. Two We've nights, yeah. Never yes. I've never been to the priory before. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. It is beautiful. Very peaceful. There's people walking around who look a bit monkish. Yeah, he just had like all these monkey stuff on, didn't he? He did. Yeah. Not monkey. No. Uh, monk ish. <laughs> yeah. Monk. Yeah. Um, did you know there's something very fascinating about this place, Mazet? What? This is the first. It's a very significant place. Is it? This is one of the first places. In fact, it is the first place where the. I think it's the Augustine monks ever came yeah. in England. It's one okay. of the oldest religious buildings in England. Oh, that's amazing. Mm. It is beautiful. Just sort though. of throw that out there. There's a lot of like gardens. You've got your church, you've got your big um, sort of house behind there as well. It is stunning. Yeah. Good morning Good and welcome. Good morning. Let me put my sunnies to on. To a sorry. priory. We're at a priory. Clare Priory. We're at Clare Priory. It's in Suffolk. Beautiful. Yep, Suffolk. We're actually on a rally here. Yeah, just it's like one full day, two nights. Two We've nights, yeah. Never, yes. I've never been to the Priory before. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. It is beautiful. Very peaceful. There's people walking around who look a bit monkish. Yeah, he just had like all these monkey stuff on, didn't he? He did. Yeah. Not monkey. No. Uh, monk ish. <laughs> yeah. Monk. -y. Yeah. Um, did you know there's something very fascinating about this place, Mazet? What? 
This is the first, it's a very significant place. Is it? This is one of the first places, in fact it is the first place where the, I think it's the Augustine monks ever came yeah. in England. Okay. It's one of the oldest religious buildings in England. Oh, that's amazing. Mm. It is beautiful. Just thought I'd throw that out there. There's a lot of like gardens, you've got your church, you've got your big um, sort of house behind there as well. It is stunning. Yeah. And that is the old priory itself. It's beautiful, isn't it? I wish I could have turned the camera on over there, but there was too many people. It's so lovely here. Right, we're trying to find a shortcut, apparently, to get into town. Been advised to come up this way, but I think Dan's lost. So we just stumbled across a few little greys. I'm guessing they might have been <clears throat> something to do with the church. Well, yeah. What? They're all the fathers, Mazzy. Oh. Father, father. This is all the priests or whatever of the church. Oh, all buried nice. in the grounds. Right, we found our way out anyway to get to town. Can what I just point door. out though, you did say town was over there. Yeah. And which way are we going? We're going down there. We're going up there. Why are we going up there? Because that's where town is, Mazzy. I know, Claire. This doesn't make sense. I clearly know it better than you do. What a beautiful place. There's actually a dog in the water there, we just heard a big splash. I thought it was a big fish. <laughs> I thought it was probably a duck or a swan or something. It's a dog. It's lovely. It literally is just over, out the gate there, yeah. over the railway, and we're here now at the Antique Centre. Exactly. That's so weird. I want to go in the Antique Centre because I'm hoping to get some new clobber. Yeah, we've actually been here before. Very uh, good. Look back on some of our videos if you want. Don't know what they're called. But we're it's have a, a brilliant today. antique shop. And this antique shop actually has been on many TV programs before. Antiques sort of programs, haven't they? Um, yeah. What, like Flintstones? And... No, you know, like, um, name an antique show. Flintstones? <sighs> well, that's old. Claire Antiques and Interiors. It is fantastic. Okay, I'm a little out of breath, but we're on the top floor. We're gonna make our way down. Right, you're after some clobber, aren't you? Yeah. Some old, like, antique clothes. Riding hats, wizard cloaks. Oh, it could be like Harry Potter. Oh. Yeah? Fitcher? Yeah. Well, I'll get that. What did I just drop? Oh, it's one of them, isn't it? Oh, it's like a um, university thing, isn't it? Where they chuck the hats. Oh, I haven't worn one of these for years, Mazzy. You've never worn one. <laughs> Put it back. <laughs> Even if it's women's. Is it? Yeah. How do you know that's women's? Oh, babe, put it back. How do you know that's for women? Well, buy it then. It's £48. Oh. Uh. £25, 1950s. Are they actually binoculars? So. They're good. Yeah. Mm. Right, I was just about to say, we're not going to be really looking for all this jazz today. Dan is only purposely here to find what clothes they got. Because he likes the antique look, don't you, darling? I like this fox. What fox? Come and have a look at his oh, eyes. no. That's horrible. No, come and have a look at his eyes. It's funny. You take the camera. Well, I will if you give me it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have a recorder? <laughs> If that's what it is. It's not a recorder. Well, it is. It's, it's an instrument. It's an instrument. Made out of uh, bamboo. bamboo. Yeah. I'm loving this old little pram look. The old little wooden wheels. 
right, just stumbled across this little shop in Clare. Now, it hasn't actually got a name. We've both got different views on it. Carry on. Right, and it's all a vintage quality designer wear, right? And it's so good. To be honest, they've got so much stuff in there, you can't move. Really, really nice. Okay, it's a little out of our price range. <laughs> a little out of our price range. <laughs> but it's amazing. If you want something vintage and designer, it's in there. And li no, no, you have to admit though, when it packed with just stuff, anything you could have wanted. You have to hope you've got a really distant relative who's just <sighs> died and you've inherited a million pounds. No. Mazzy, the jackets were hundred pounds each. Hundred pound for a jacket. It, this is the how, shoes, ninety-five pen, pounds. This is how classy it was. Every garment was in like a protective. Um, oh, a bit of plastic, thing, wasn't it? <laughs> in a bit <laughs> Which, of plastic. Actually, that'll for me, make it worth ninety I'll times more moving. than a charity shop. For me, I couldn't then look through them properly. But yeah, fantastic little finches shop. If you want to go and get some designer finches stuff, as it, long as you're rich. Great stuff, not knocking it, but £95 for a pair of shoes from 1940. What's going on there? Or you can go to like a cat rescue charity shop and pick a pair of shoes up which are less than a year old, probably about four quid. Is he still moaning? I'm sorry for them lot having to watch you moan. It had lovely quality designer gear in there. Yeah, but you know what's getting me? I'm what? actually in, I'm in the buying frame at the moment. They have no ways to I'm go. ready to buy. Yeah. But I ain't paying that. Right, well take me in the pub later this morning, you can buy me a drink. Come on. I bought you a meal the other day. Come on. And we've just popped into the Swan Hotel. Is it a hotel or just a pub? This is the back of it. Grabbed a quick drink and we're going to go down to the garden area. It's beautiful. Really nice. Oh, an upside down brolly that's blown away. Where would you like to sit, darling? Over here. Oh, it's lovely. No, here. Here, I like this one. It's in the shade. I'm yeah, but that fun. one's wonky. <laughs> this is good because I'm sat in the sun, but my beer is in the shade. Yep, yep. perfect. Right, I do still have to get to co-op at some point today, get some milk. Let's just enjoy ourselves, shall we? Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> um, we're having to be quiet because we're on the rally. And it's early. It's early and we don't want to disturb anybody, but no. we just wanted to show you where we are. Look at our wonderful pitch. It's a nice one. Beautiful right next to the trees really enjoyed it here it's only been two nights but it's been a really good rally yeah i think so about 16 of us have turned up but uh yeah we're only like one full day wasn't it two nights two nights yeah, yeah. very nice yeah. right we're just gonna take a walk let's just get off here first because yes. i don't like filming because we have to be quiet <laughs> What a beautiful little statue. It's unusual, isn't it? Really nice. I thank you, God, for most of this amazing day. Cummings. And he's like this up at the church. Mm. Yeah, really nice. There is actually a shrine. Oh, just it's beautiful. In there. <laughs> Did get in there yesterday, but couldn't film because someone wanted to come in and pray. And we've just been again and someone is praying in there, so. Yeah. I'm not gonna get to show you that, unfortunately. But this is Claire Priory. This is actually where uh, Maz's nan's getting buried tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> but what a wonderful, wonderful place. Oh, it's actually open. That wasn't open yesterday, was it? Well, it's Sunday morning, <clears throat> Mazzy. It's Sunday morning. I know. <laughs> I believe there's someone very famous buried here, actually. Is there who? Edward the First's daughter. Okay. King Edward the First's daughter. Where is she? I don't know where she is. I just read that she was buried at the Priory. Oh, maybe she, is it amongst these then? I think she'll call <laughs> Elizabeth, I'm not sure. So we're out of the Priory grounds now. Yeah. You really don't feel like you can talk. It's so such a peaceful place, isn't it? It's like and a monastery. It's like where yeah. monks walk around and 
Everyone's just in silence, enjoying the peace and quiet. Yeah. Um, but we're out of there now. <laughs> so we're going to head down towards the country park now. Right Are on we? top of it. Well, we're here now, aren't we? We did film this, you know, we showed you this yesterday. Can you remember the shot I showed you here? <laughs> but, uh... You're getting a bit of the same, really. But there is a castle here I didn't know existed. It's on... He does, because he's been to it before, Apparently. and you don't remember. Apparently I've been to it, I can't remember it. You've got to head like to see if it's up the top of there. Now this is the only car park in Clare. Yes. It used to be on park, well it is on park for night, but it used to be a overnight parking, but they've put a stop to it unfortunately. You can park outside like the co-op and that, there's a few spaces there, but that's really for just sort of locals quickly nipping in a shop, you know. Yeah, it's up there, look. Oh, is this the castle? Yeah. I can't remember ever being up there. Oh, I can see it, Mazzy. Can you see it? <laughs> I'm sure you climbed it. It's from about I don't think I did. <laughs> started building that in about 1066. I remember claiming that as a little, a little one. <laughs> yeah, this is Country Park. The most, uh, one of the wealthiest women in England. Who? Had that. Oh, we do have a she? She was called Elizabeth de Clare. I'm guessing that's how it got its name, Claire. Is that her then? I wonder. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Elizabeth de, de Burg. De Burg <laughs> the granddaughter of King Edward the First. Okay. So it's her daughter who is her mother who is buried. Yeah. Over there somewhere. You see, I do get some facts right. <laughs> some. <laughs> I've got even better ones, Mazzy. Have you? About the, the castle. Yeah. Used to do a lot of stuff in there. Did I, just, I just made a note of this because I thought it were incredible. What, pantomimes? No. <laughs> they used to make, I don't know how they know these facts, I'll be honest. Yeah. They used to make 2,360 loaves of bread per day in the castle. <laughs> Blimey. <laughs> That's a lot, isn't it? Because it all would have been by hand and proper, proper done back in them days. Don't know. Wouldn't have had a bread maker, would they? <laughs> And on top of that, they used to make 1,040 pints of beer every day. So if they're making that every day, mm -hmm. is that they because were the monks were drinking 1,000 odd a day? Probably. Wow. I do believe in them days, the monks and things over there, they used to like drink all day, but it was really weak. There hardly any alcohol in it. Maybe they were making beer bread. I think they used to be like allowed. Yeah, like I meant. <laughs> I think they were allowed something like five pints a day. Yeah, I've heard something like that. Little sheep here, look. Yeah, apparently I've been up there. I can't remember, and I'm not doing it today. Can't be bothered. There used to be a railway here. Yeah. See a tiny bit of track down here, and this is the crane, the goods crane. Now, this is interesting. Yeah. The railway company, by law, had to carry any cargo you wanted to go on the train. Mm -hmm. Even if it was an elephant. Yeah, that's why they had to have the crane. So they had to have a crane. <laughs> Imagine some of the weird things that they've lifted off with that. Imagine if you wanted a train as cargo and the train had to carry the train on top. <laughs> They'd have to do it by law. <laughs> I've never seen this bit before. So this is an old station. Yeah. I think it's shut in 1962, I've just been reading. There's a little play train here or something. Okay, something for the kids. There is yeah. a plaque over there, Mazzy. I don't want to miss a plaque, oh, you know what I'm it. like. <laughs> Let's go check out the plaque. So it's a Mott, Mott and Bailey, they call it, don't they, when it's got a thingy running through it. Funny thing is, that's the view, and I've put a picture on here which is exactly the same. What's pointing point picture there when you can just look up? Looks exactly the same. The Stour Valley Railway, that's what it was, is, could have been, might be, <laughs> don't know. Um, so you've actually got a cafe here now on the platform, and across the road is the visitors centre. Across the road. <laughs> How come I've never seen this before? You've never brought we me have. here. I haven't. We've been here. I've never been here in my life. 
they're just setting up right on the railway line bit there the Suffolk Orienteering Club what is that? I'm not even sure, Orienteering, Orienteering. I always thought it was like sort of climbing and going up steep hills and stuff don't, I don't know. know and walking do you want to go any further? yeah just keep going, yeah. I'm enjoying this <laughs> uh, children's play area and toilets that way yeah, there's a model railway. Model railway? That would be nice. Oh, I wonder if that's in the visitor centre. I think it might be. Oh. So this is a country park. And they've made a little butterfly garden here. Can't see one. <laughs> it's a bit early in the day, they're probably asleep. Butterfly garden, they've put all the different ones you might see. Well, yeah, it's lovely. Nice and overgrown. They love these, the butterflies. What do they call them, Mazzy? Is it Buddleia? Don't know. I'm not sure. But they love them. Are they your blurry flowers? That's a blurry flower, yeah, I think. Um, thank you to the people who said in the comments what they were called. Oh, I can't remember the word now. But yeah, bur blurry flowers. This is the future. This is what we're all going to be getting in as gardens from now on because they look a bit blurry. <laughs> I've got a feeling we're right in the middle of the uh, orienteering track. There's like oh, flags yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Look at the ducks that are on the uh, on the mossy water. <laughs> Algae water. Algae. Yeah, really green water. That's fantastic. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? Well, is it lovely? Yeah, I think. It looks so. nice in the sun, yes, but. Uh, ugh. No, I like it. You wouldn't like to be in there. So this is the old uh, railway. This is a bridge there. It would have run straight down here. Oh, which way do we go now, Alec? We're spoiled. Um, You've got a notice board here. Let's just check this out. It's starting to feel a bit walky, Mazzy. Oh, this is good. I've never seen a note. Oh, I can't touch that. It's got a worm on it. <laughs> but it's, it's got a book on it, hasn't it? <laughs> Sunny grassland, so there's snakes around here, has it? Oh no! Yeah. Foxes, people, plants, stuff. Yeah, it's just stuff, in it? Shall we give some thanks? Yay! <laughs> Got a pile of thanks from the last couple of days, hang on a second. Big pile of thank you. Let's get my thanks book out. So, massive thanks for people who have sent us super thanks in the last couple of days. Yeah, where's the lighting? That's a bit better. Oh, no, it's blinding. Go on then. We have got Sher Shirley Divine. Thank you, Shirley. Silver Lining. Thank you, Silver Lining. Rhonda Walker. Thank you, Rhonda Walker. Darren Hunter. Thank you, Darren Hunter. Rob Clegg. Thank you, Rob Clegg. John Loftus. Thank you, John Loftus. Paul Young. Thank you, Paul Young. And I think it's Haley, Haley Green. And Hayley Green. I've never seen Hayley spelt like that. That's a nice way to spell it. <laughs> right. Yeah, big massive thank you to you all. Yeah, thank you. You really help <laughs> us out. Don't know which way to go now. As I said, uh, it's starting to feel a bit walky now, and I really didn't come for a walk. Well, I don't know. It depends how much you want to see, really, doesn't it? Well, I want to see anything what my legs can see. <laughs> I don't want to see any further than my legs can't see. So there's some steps up towards the castle, over there. Um, if you want to see what it looks like from up there, check out one of his old videos, because we've done it before, apparently. No, you don't get to the castle fire them. But steps. you don't go up there to get to the castle. No, don't. No, don't do that. You can see the moat and the ponds from up there. You can, you can, yeah. If you want to see it, look <laughs> on his old videos, or just Google it. Maybe look on YouTube. Some, some, idiot, some idiot will have been up there if it wants us. <laughs> It's a lovely view of it though, isn't it? With the green ponds and... I don't know, I love it. Very nice. You know the Sunday lunch we had on yeah. a Wednesday? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, the lad who made it for us, the chef, yeah. apparently his mum and dad commented on his video last night and oh. he, he remembers plating us up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, that meal was amazing. Such a small world, isn't it? Yeah. It really is. We still keep talking about mm. that meal between the two of us, don't we? Mm, could eat that again today. <laughs> if you look over here, anyway, you've got this massive area for the kiddies to play in. 
little bit of football and stuff. That's yeah, a big... throw them in that corner and enjoy the place. That's a big play area, isn't it? It doesn't look very nice, though. Why? It needs some colour. It's just all brown and it's dull. It's meant to look like natural wood. Yeah. So wood. I'm just going to nip in here. You can chat away. We are on a nature trail, apparently. Yeah, this is the orienteering thing. This is We don't understand this. I think it's like a GPS thing and you have like a maybe a watch on and you have to go like that and it tells you you've been to that marker and carry on so that you don't cheat as I would if you didn't have to do that. Oh, you've got a bowling green here. Clare Bowls Club. So, so peaceful. I think, I guess it's about half eight, nine o'clock in the morning. No one around, just a couple of runners. So I'm reading something here about the Outer Bailey. Uh, and it's saying, I think this is like the Outer Bailey of the castle where we are. When they were doing this tarmac in here, they found an important medieval gold cross. Did they? Mm, really important one. It was known with a chain. Oh, uh, like a necklace cross? Yeah. Right, yeah. It was known as the Clare Reliquary Cross. Ah. And it was clear, sorry, it was stolen by Queen Victoria. <laughs> Queen Victoria stole it and it's now in the British Museum. Oh, I'd like to see that. That's I'd like I'd like to see that returned to Clare. Yeah, it belongs to Clare. Give yeah. it back. We're in Clare Square. Yeah. That rhymes. It's actually an old market town or something. I don't think they do markets here anymore though. It is a, mar a medieval market town. Yeah. I think. Um, yeah, we must apologise for the beginning of this video. The sound went a bit funny. Oh, yes. I'm not sure if it was plugged in right or not. I'm hoping it's all right now. <laughs> yeah, it was like dipping and getting high and yeah. then dipping. So you might know. I think it might be a loose connection or something. Yeah. Oh, Clare Town Hall. Look, we've had many of family parties in here. Family parties in a town like hall. Gatherings, gatherings. And you know, say. it's supposed to be a very important, serious place, not somewhere for a party. <laughs> it's a lovely place. Look at it though, look. It is nice. You're right. I do remember being here before, yeah. around that bit, around the church yeah, and everything. Yeah, the church and stuff. Which was very nice. Oh yeah, we'll just take a walk down here. Uh, we used to have a really lovely pub down here on the corner. The Bell. It's all boarded up, it's closed. Oh, I didn't know that. It'd be gutted. In fact, we went in for a drink once, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. I've been in there many a times for like a meal and stuff. I seem to remember there was someone, it was quite posh, and there was a man with a very posh dog. That I don't remember, but you seem yeah, I to do. remember that. I don't do. You? <laughs> but yeah, closed down at the moment. Yeah, turn them around, let's. So anyone that might drive through Clare or it's local, be gutted, look. <laughs> such a lovely one, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, I remember being in. I think it must have been winterish and the fire was on. It was lovely. Yeah. Enjoyed it in there. Got it. The place we went yesterday uh, sells Timothy Taylor's good drink. Good oh, drink. Oh, at the Swan we ended up, didn't we? Just for a drink. Mm. Yeah. Very expensive, but <laughs> a very nice drink. Timothy Taylor's. <laughs> House prices. Ouch. Yeah, well, I told you that they're more expensive down my way. For some reason, <laughs> you've got one in Clare here, 325,000. There's one of, uh, well, this one. That's you know, beautiful. That's Cavendish. Sorry, this is yeah. Clare, 370,000. That's not bad for that. But oh. why is this one in the top corner, 850,000 pounds? Oh, it's beautiful. Grade two listed five bedroom tower. All right, it doesn't look. It just looks like a tourist house from the outside, but obviously beautiful inside. One pound forty. One pound forty. <laughs> I just needed to get a local paper. She wraps all her presents <laughs> in newspaper rather than wrapping paper. It's For a me thing. Kids, it's a thing. It's an ongoing thing that I've been doing. So. <laughs> So she spent £1.40 on a paper just to wrap some... To be fair, I did then in here look for wrapping paper, but they had none. Anyway, that's what I do. Should we go up this way now? Do you want a quick look at the church, yeah? That might be yeah. something new there. Yeah. Nice cross. 
We were looking actually for maybe like a coffee house to go and like have a breakfast bath and a cup of tea. It's but I'm not Sunday though, isn't it? Yeah, should we have a look down the other You know, street? there was that one at the railway. Yeah. But... It's like a bakery, wasn't it? it no, that were a proper cafe, but it just didn't appeal to me. Let's go up this way, darling. Oh, Liz, if you want to go up there. Yeah, I want to go up here, yeah, mate. Church. <laughs> Church Lane. That's a very good point. Yeah, we should have done this trail, look. If we'd have done this trail, we'd have probably completed it by now. We've seen so many yeah, of them. Yeah, yeah. Tell us what it is, though. Yeah, orientate. I think I've got it right. Look, you've got a hole there, Mazza. You have to stick something in it. So it's it just a you trail, you is it? Yeah, up hills, down hills, running, stuff like that. A bit like, like a treasure hunt, is well, it? Well, no, it's just a... A run, really. Oh, a, oh, look at the detail on this house, look at the side. Oh my gosh, I mean, we've obviously seen it before, but I forget. Look how beautiful that is. Yeah, that's nice. It's like icing on a cake, it isn't is, it? It is, it is. <laughs> Lovely door, look at the door. Oh, wow. It's look. actually the museum, Mazzy Claire. Oh, is it? Claire Ancient House Museum. Do you know we've never been in there? It's open today from two o'clock. Oh, we're not gonna be here. Mm. Yeah. I wonder what that's all about then. Ancient house. Well spotted, Mazzy. <laughs> we found some more blurry flowers. Look at them. They're big ones, isn't they? I think they're allium, but I'm not sure. Someone tell us in the comments. They look as if they might be a bit blurry when they're ready. It's the in thing this year, blurry flowers. Blurry flowers. <laughs> It's pretty, isn't it? Medieval wool town. Clare. Anglo-Roman camp, Norman Castle Bailey. Lovely. Let's go find some breakfast, yeah? Get I don't up. think we will, but I hope we do. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> the brewer's house. Next to the jug and bottle, actually, look. They've yeah, next to the jug and bottle now. Bottle it, no I wonder if that... I wonder if that used to be a pub, has it? The jug and bottle. But now it is, I don't know, like an antique shop selling jugs and bottles. I don't know if it is, or is it actually like a... It sells to alcohol. It sells alcohol. It's like a off-license. All oh, right. Yeah. I've never seen anyone go in here, but we've walked past it a I've few times. i <laughs> I'm starting to wonder, are these just the bottles? of the guy who works here and he just drinks all day and his empty bottles are all over the place. Oh, that's why, look, look, come here, look. Business hours. He's closed Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, but then he's open on his special day. Oh, uh, well, he's open Sunday night. Oh, is it? Yeah, Sunday night is open for a little <laughs> bit. For all those people even older than me, can you remember? Rin Tin Tin. Rin Tin Tin. Rin Tin Tin and the hidden treasure. It's before my time, Mazzy. Got some lovely odd little bits in here, aren't they? Yeah, we've been in there before, haven't we? I think it's very I've small. Been we have, yeah. Yeah. A little antique shop. So, whilst Mazzy was peeking in the window of that really expensive shop from yesterday. Stop that. <laughs> I'm wondering why the wallpaper so many houses around here. Tudor Cottage. Wallpapered houses all over the place. So it doesn't look like we're going to get a cafe this morning, but what we did actually do on the way home yesterday was um, stop at the antique shop and we got a slice of cake each, <laughs> didn't we? Yeah. It was so lovely. What are you getting at? I'm just mentioning Oh, it. I thought you were wanting to get more cake. Oh, no. Yeah, lovely cake. Lovely cake. No, I'm just saying we got some lovely cake from there. All home handmade, I think. Yeah, very nice. If you want cake, go there. Yeah, they are homemade. It says it on the sign. Homemade yummy cake to take away. And it's closed. And we've seen a lot of this what craft fair it? coming up. 9th and 10th of July. So that's next weekend. 
So if anyone wants to come, it's five pound for adults. Oh, that's actually at the primary where we're staying. Yes. Oh gosh, yeah, that'll be that good. And because it's five pounds, it must be a pretty good event. Yeah. You would think. Yeah. Are you lonely? Do you need someone to talk to today? Well, come here on Monday. Meet up Mondays. Join us here today. Don't be on your own. That's wonderful. I actually really like that. Yeah, that's nice. Just come here, stand here, and wait for other people to turn up, and you can have a nice chat. Yeah, go, go for, for a, a walk coffee. together. Have a coffee. Yeah. It's not a dating site. Don't come no. looking for a partner. <laughs> It's just to, you know, meet someone for a little chat. Don't want perverts turning up. That's nice though, I like they do that. So that's it from Claire. The lovely, beautiful Claire. Um, stick with us guys, we have got our holiday coming up. Yes, we're on oh, holiday. Yes, yes. We're heading to Newquay, to Cornwall. Is it Torquay or Newquay? Newquay. Newquay. Two week holiday on a holiday park. That is going to be a lot of fun. Is that cheer rally? I'm so excited. I feel yeah. so lucky. <laughs> and the beauty about it is we have managed to get a, a gas yesterday so we can have oh, as many barbecues yes. as you like. Yeah, that'll be fantastic. Can't wait. <laughs> right, catch you all tomorrow. Yeah, see you tomorrow anyway. We're in the Priory peacefully bit now, so we've got to be quiet. Say goodbye to everyone, Mazzy. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye.